Man, oh man. I wonder how this episode's gonna be with a cliffhanger like that. Hello and welcome, mates. Celeviathan here, back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2, Episode 4. And man, last episode was maybe the craziest ending yet. Vox Machina was off to go look for the Matron of Ravens. So we need to find this uh, tomb over here, which was basically like a, a dungeon. We got joined in by the, t by the Slayer Take member Zara and could not remember the other guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> but he was definitely hitting on Keyleth a lot. We got to f learn a little bit more about uh, Vex and Vax and, and their kind of upbringing and relationship. You know, they were looking into the tomb here, trying to figure out where it is, ultimately finding the uh, sarcophaguses of the Matron of Raven who was named Pervon <laughs> or Pervon. <laughs> But at the very end, oh man, it looked as though like um, they got a little bit hasty with Vex and Percy and then Vex ends up getting a big type of like uh, magical blast on her that had a little bit of a ra black raven fe uh, feather over it and she dies guys, she's dead. I'm thinking because we saw that black raven feather, it's definitely going to be like a trial to try to gain the matron of ravens. But I am definitely excited for this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe subscribe guys turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and drop down your thoughts on the reactions down below in the comments I'd love to hear about them but we're not gonna waste time guys let's get started with the Levitgen of Vox Machina season 2 episode 4 those who walk away let's go oh we're going back into the backstory here Awesome, awesome. They I'm glad. Mention, did they? No. I think they figured I'm worth more alive. Who the hell are these people? Bandits? Poachers, maybe? I've been hearing horrid sounds. Maybe those horrid sounds were the fact that they're not human? <laughs> Quick, in here. Is this is this where they meet Trinket or? It's okay, easy, easy. No, I don't think this is Trinket. I think this is a female bear, and the and the baby bear is actually gonna be Trinket. Yeah, I knew it. The cub is gonna be Trinket. Ah. Oh. Sometimes you have to embrace what's in front of you, not fight it. <laughs> wow, I like that man. Sometimes you just gotta embrace whatever comes, well life throws out you man. Sister. Let me see her. We could try resurrecting her. A revival right? I, I've never tried that before. Yeah, not many have. It's hard as hell to pull off. This can't be happening. Who was with her? <laughs> A revival right? Is this going to work? I mean, it would make sense if it was like it just happened. No, then maybe it could, it, you could revive somebody. No! It's not working! Because we're inside her temple. It's no use. She's done. So I think the thing that Vex, Vax has been seeing this whole time is the Matron of Ravens. She's still connected to him, man. Their bond is stronger than anything. Take me instead, you raven bitch! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
It severed their bond! Oh, easy! Oh, thank the Everlight! It saved her by severing the bond with each other! What happened? That's, that's gonna be more harm Shama. than good! She fucking died! Krog! No, like dead dead! But if I died, then how... The vestige... When... How are you wearing it? I... I don't know. <laughs> I was just worried I lost you. I don't know. Huh. What was the point of severing the Fair connection? Point. You lead the way, I guess. Yeah. Careful now. Thanks, Percy. <laughs> the matron. Look, I don't like it either. But they got the vestige before we did. Then we'll take it back. We just need to figure out our next move. Ooh. I love you too, Trinket. We have to keep up. <laughs> Is this the calamity? Oh, are those the other vestiges? Wouldn't even know what to do with a vestige. Wait, are you gonna kill them? You worry too much, love. Nah, man, Zara, you need to stop this. He does not want you to take it. Is she summoning some kind of like demon to fight them? What? Oh, what <laughs> nah, that's overkill, man. That's overkill. Freaking cracking Wait, like creature. We, it off. we do kind of have that effect on people. Krog? He's not dead. I think he's just petrified. But then, how is this not supposed to kill them? Like, you're petrifying them. Come on, Zara. <laughs> Come on. I was assuming Vex was the one who was gonna be going through this trial, but it looks like Vax is the one who's going through the Matron of Raven's trial. Nothing's working. Bro, the accuracy on this thing is incredibly insane. I can't be a part of this. This is getting way too out of control. It really is. Hell yeah, I knew I would I liked cash. I'll get him back in the locket. The fact that she was the one who summoned this thing and the fact that she's having a hard time with it, like how like how stupid can you be? <laughs> you sent out a weapon that you can't even control yourself. That's that's that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen anybody do, man. I take my hand. Do not let me. This is one of the most manufactured like adversaries I've ever seen in my life and none of this needed to happen and now everybody's almost dead and no one's gonna be able to save him from petrification just cause of damn Zara <laughs> whatever happens it's out of our control Crazy interesting here. To Hang just the to champion. let to let things go. I think it was to stop holding on to things. 
But now he's got the real power of the Matron of Ravens. It's given him some incredible speed. Look, I'm sorry. We didn't mean for any of this to happen, I swear. Save your apologies for later, help my friends. I gotcha! How is he doing that? Vestige. It has to be. Bro, that Vestige gives some incredible speed. This is perfect for Vax, man. It's enhancing, like, his capabilities. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Well, damn. Things got out of hand. Mistakes were made. Oh, mistake. Yeah, really? You think? We couldn't let a vestige fall into the wrong hands, but I'm really trying to justify and apologize for this crap. You caused this issue. You caused this problem. But Just say sorry. Around, we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh man, that was that was the biggest threat that I've ever seen that was self-manufactured before. <laughs> I want to apologize. I was careless. Sometimes we have a habit of moving too quickly. I don't want to hear it right now. I don't know what I would have done different. <laughs> right. That went well. I know it won't make up for what happened, but I want you to have this. And what about my debt to the Slayer's Take? What debt? <laughs> debt cleared. Let's go, guys. His antlers watching me walk away. <laughs> of course, love. I got an ass that won't stop. <laughs> she kept a creature in it. Hmm. Trinket. She's definitely gonna put Trinket in there. What do you say, Trinket? Mm. Oh, come on, just try it. Maybe it'll be fun. It's like a Pokeball. <laughs> it even has the red glowing shit, too. Hello? Hello? This shit is so interesting. What is the Matron of Ravens trying to show him? When you were on the floor, I... I saw the Matron of Ravens coming for you. I begged her to take me instead. I had to. Whatever this all means, we'll figure it out. Nothing's changed. Everything's changed. I knew it, man. I definitely knew he was gonna say that. Nothing's the same anymore. That link that they've had before is severed and gone. But why the hell is Anna- How the hell did Anna Ripley- Oh no. I think she's gonna try to join the Chroma Conclave. Oh, alright guys. That was an amazing Vax episode. That definitely- That had me very, very confused. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Severing that connection with Vex was definitely something that- Because they definitely have a strong connection, right? When he said, I'll give you anything, and then he severed the connection, I think that's something he's gonna regret. Freaking Zara and Kasha, man. <laughs> Them coming out, finding out that the Vestige wasn't- They wouldn't be able to find it. And then creating that damn monster and petrifying everybody. She could have made that whole situation so much worse. It could have just ended there with everybody petrified. What was even worse was the fact that when she jumped down to go and fight this thing, she even got petrified. I was like, what are you doing, Zara? What are you doing? Why are you creating this situation that you can't even control? And then 
having Vax coming in, accepting and fighting Pervon, and then like just letting things go, I really, really need to rewatch that scene because I definitely missed a lot of different things that were happening there. But he ended up getting the Matron of Raven power. It's speeding on by, took out that monster by himself, which is something that would have taken all of Vox Machina to do. So now you can really tell how powerful these vestiges are going to be. But with that note, I will see you guys around. Take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.